Welcome to Ab Circuits. We have six really great routines for you, but it's very important before you do any of the routines that you're warmed up before you participate. So if you're not already warmed up, go ahead and do that now. When you're ready, here we go. It's one, two, three. So you wanna go slow here so you get no momentum and you just feel the transfer of the weight through the long elongation of the movement. Five, work the oblique. Six, stay in that bent plank, bent arm plank as the legs come together at the bottom. Two, and down. Three, down, and four. Now let's alternate, bend the knee, and out, lift, up. Lift, out to the other side, and up, out. Four, and in. Three, and in. Two, and one. Now alternate, come in and out, straight leg, and out and in. Straight leg up, and then the nine o'clock position. Three o'clock, and and exhale. Keep that going, inhale, exhale. You can really feel the core stabilizing, and sit tall. Good, roll down again. One vertebra at a time, keep that control. And lift it up, peel, peel, peel off the floor. Strengthen, and exhale, great. Inhale, come on, contract the body. Give it your best. Come on, go down, don't fall into the mat. Use control, up and over. Last one, down, pull up and over. Stay stabilized with the hips. I'm hearing you breathe back there. Good job. Take it around. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And saw to the side of it. And then lift up, straighten up, rotate, and go down to the outside of the other pinky toe. And squeeze up. Good. Go back. Pull up. Open into a chest press and squeeze. One, down. Lift, two, and three. Lift up and lower and lift. Now, if you're finding that's too much on your back or you can't seem to keep your back from popping off the floor, stay with the bent knee version. Eight, and pull. What you want to do is think of this rib cage coming right to the side of the hip here. And five, four more, four, and lift. Don't lower down too far, focus on the high end of the movement. Up, you got eight more, eight. I want you to really squeeze the low back together. This is excellent conditioning for the deep transverse muscles as well. Okay, you guys ready? Nice and tall. You're gonna roll forward, get the straight line from the shoulders to the hips, and then you're gonna press your arms into the ball on the way back. Press down and fire it back. That's actually engaging a lot of lats there, too. Just like this, you're gonna pike the body up, buttocks to the sky, and then lower it down. Let's do that again. Pull it up, and lower down. Pull in, keep that core contracted. Up, and lower down. Pull in and up, and lower down. In toward the hand, heels and out. Into the heels and out. One, two, and back. One, two, three, and, and tap. Now, if this distance is too much for you, tap like this, right in place. You don't have to send the feet forward. And lift, go. It's one, oh, two, three, four, and slide down. No fair, we're not gonna make progress that way. And up you go, one, two, three, and four. One. Two, three, four. We're gonna go for 16, five, seven, and eight. If your back is bothering you or your body feels a little tight or your range of motion is limited, squeeze and exhale, staying stable through the core as you come up. If for any reason at any time you need head support, put the ball down and give yourself some support. Three and tap, four and tap. We're going for 16, five, down. You guys feeling that? There's no tension. Six, 
seven, and keep scissoring, ball down, one, head is resting, three, four, five, and two, three, four, and two, and three. Getting the torso, feeling the stretch with the weight added, feels great. Seven, and eight, and lift, down, and lift, three, two, and up, two, and over, freeze, and bring it up, you guys feel that? Two, three, and four, let's do it again, one, and two, and three, and four. If you want to keep the weights on, you can just take your levers higher, up like this, instead of down, lower, and straight. Two, down, three, and four. Now try not to rest at the bottom. Keep tension on the muscles. Up, and now slowly come down. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So lift for two counts. One and two. Lift and lower. Squeeze. We're going to do 12. Four, down. And up. Okay, stay right here. We're going to do a modified boat pose. You're going to take your hands to the side, legs extend straight and balanced. Now, if you can, send your legs straight up. And if you can go even further with that, you're going to take your arms up and try to get into that nice V sit here. Roll down and up. How are we doing with that? Good? Go down and up. Up. All right, now we're going to do an extended leg levitation. This is optional. If you can't get to the regular one, which is how you'll start, then you're going to just stay here and attempt that. Otherwise, send your legs forward and hold. Take the head up a little bit. The choice is yours. Keep engaged. Let's just hold this here for a little longer, keeping that tailbone up and lifted. One and two. Exhale. Shoo. Leaning down, going only as far as you comfortably can. Feeling a nice stretch in the spine as well. Their side for two and center. Do that again. Going down for two. Keep the shoulder blades down. And then lengthen your spine into cow position, keeping the head in good alignment. It's not necessary to throw your chin up to the sky. Move into a side plank, flipping over on your side. You can stack your feet one on top of the other. If you want a wider base of support, place one leg in front of the other. Now in this position, you're gonna slowly scoop the arm under and then bring it back up, keeping the hips elevated. And now push your body back into a down dog. Stretching heels aim toward the floor. Lower your upper body down, arms along the sides of the body. Hold that crocodile position. And push through into an upward dog. And two, so you're rotating from the torso, feeling that twist. Three and four, great. Instead of just worrying about passing the ball and taking it out of your partner's hands, think of your core and really rotate nicely. One, two, three. That feels really good. I love the way that's working. Core. Three, and switch. Four, and up. Great. We're going to do 16 total. Five, six, you want to make sure the person doing the tossing tosses the ball to you at just the right point of your sit-up so that you're on the descent going back, catching the ball, and the weight of the catch continues to send you back into your sit-up. Seven, so you're fighting the gravity here. Ooh, five, you can really feel that oblique. Six, seven. All right, everybody, that completes this segment. I hope you had a lot of fun. I know we did, and I know we really felt it. Take care, and we'll see you next workout.